So I just watched The Creator, directed by Gareth Edwards, who did Rogue One, and I was super impressed by the movie. I thought it was so such a fun, creative, original sci-fi film, and it was visually stunning. And one thing that I learned about the film was that it was shot on a fairly cheap camera called the Sony FX3, which happens to be the camera that I own right here. This little guy shot a major Hollywood blockbuster film. It's more accessible to shoot a Hollywood film now, which got me thinking, if the big guys can shoot on the camera that I own, why can't I make a Hollywood blockbuster film? So I wanted to recreate a shot in the creator, utilizing the same camera, and see if I can make something close to what they did. After watching the movie, I actually wanted to recreate this shot right here, which is in the trailer, so it's no spoilers, but I thought it's just a visually stunning thing, and Gareth Edwards really knows how to make that scale really work. So I'm gonna go out during Blue Hour with my friend Alex, and we're gonna film a shot. It's Blue Hour right now, as you can see by the blue, so we're gonna use the Sony FX3 here, and we're gonna make an epic blockbuster film. Uh, we're gonna blow up Los Angeles. Uh, the one thing that I like about this camera is it's great in low light. Can you see me? Yeah. You can see me? Yeah. I see like this in real life. I can't see any of this. <laughs> <laughs> but this is what, it looks like straight up daylight right now. That's really good low light. <laughs> look, at, uh, look at the traffic. And the reason why they actually used this camera for the film was because they were running and gunning a lot. So they were using this camera because it was the best tool for the job and it's a great camera. We got some killer stuff and now let's uh, go and do the actual visual effects. We're back and we got some pretty good shots. I wanted to use Make Big Films products to recreate this shot. So this is how I decided to create the effect. First thing I did was go on to our new platform, makebigfilms.com. And because it's an unlimited plan now, and you can go and you can download individual elements, I just went through each collection I thought would work, and I downloaded the ones that I think would be good. And this is the good thing about this way instead of the packs, is that you can mix and match from different packs and you don't have to pay an entire pack fee. So it's really helpful in that regard. I use meteors, nuclear explosions, and dust explosions and just explosions to make this shot. So I hopped into After Effects and first thing I did was rotoscoped out Alex using Rotobrush. Then I hopped into Mocha AE and I just tracked where the explosion will be. I created the track data from that layer and changed the export option to transform and applied it to a empty null object layer. Then I added all of the elements I wanted. I added a meteorite for that initial missile that comes down. I added some meteorite impacts and I added Ultimate Explosion 3 and 7 because those are so good. I love the way those look. Just the just how detailed they are and I thought it looked it matched the original pretty well. And making sure that each element I'm parenting to that null object. By the way, if you want to see a more in-depth tutorial on how to composite explosions in After Effects, go check out our Oppenheimer tutorial that we did a while back. It basically goes through everything I did here. Then I added glows, like an initial glow impact, and then I added uh, glow overall, so it's, so it's very bright and vibrant. Then I added things like vignetting and film grain on top of everything to really tie it all together. And so I just tried to do my best in this to match the colors with the color grading and the glows, pretty much just putting the shot side by side and really trying to make it look as accurate as possible. And then I got this shot. I think it turned out pretty great. We shot this in 20 minutes at Blue Hour and I got home, did the effect in about two hours with Big Film's assets. So basically three hours of work, we made an epic Hollywood shot. Now, obviously there's a few different things. We weren't at a beach, we didn't have that water, but it still looks pretty good and accurate in my opinion. And that's the cool thing. I watched the creator, I learned that it was shot on the FX3 and it was the camera that I own. And this camera is pretty cheap to rent too, which is great and it's small and compact. And, and the reason I like this camera is it just straight up just looks like a Hollywood film when you're filming stuff with it and without trying that hard. And that's the thing, lighting equipment now is very cheap with LED technology. 
things are getting way easier for people to make stuff and watching the creator seeing that it was done for 80 million obviously it had way crazier effects but even those like robot effects we've done before using like ai tools like wonder studio with uh, the blueberry pie short we did i shot that with the fx3 run and gun and i quickly added those robots something that would have taken me personally multiple months to do. I did it in a matter of weeks with these tools. It's one of the best times to be a filmmaker right now because stuff with like make big films, you can make awesome effects pretty cheap. We're now getting to a point where it's getting cheaper and cheaper to make something and in the Hollywood films are even using these things because the technology is so much better in these prosumer cameras like this. I've gotten some great shots from this thing and it looks like a Hollywood film and I've actually used it up against Ari Alexa cameras which are the you know best cameras on the market and I'm cutting in between them and nobody notices because that's how good this camera is and it's a four thousand dollar camera. So I'm just saying like, it makes me so inspired to go out and make something. It made me just go like, okay, I'm gonna go out and make the biggest film I can because we can make big films for pretty cheap now. We don't need to be attached to big Hollywood systems to make a big Hollywood movie anymore. So that is extremely awesome. And I think the creator is gonna start a trend uh, for new features coming up. Uh, it's cause it's not really about the tools, even though tools have gotten better and better, it is about that artist behind it and about how you use those tools. And I really wanted to make this video because I just wanted to get out, recreate a shot from the film, and hopefully you liked the journey that I took you on. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, all those things, and I'll see you on the next one.